I'm here with a book haul that has five books that are all thrillers so I'm super excited because I absolutely love thrillers. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> So the first book that I have in my pile is This Darkness Mine by Mindy McGinnins and this is the author of The Female of the Species which is one of my all-time favorite books so when I saw this book in the thrift store I was like need it now got it. I honestly don't know that much about this book other than it's about a girl who finds out that she absorbed her twin sister in the womb and now she's like feeling this weird connection to some guy that she just met. I don't know it sounds really weird but I've heard very mixed reviews about it. People who are big fans of Minnie McGinnis didn't really like it. So I kind of want to read it just to see where I end up on that spectrum of liking or disliking, but I'm excited for it nonetheless. The next book that I have sounds so good in my opinion. Like I kind of just want to pick it up and read it right now. It is Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson. Kind of looks like it's going to be like a new adult kind of book but from the synopsis not even close. It's about a woman named Christine who every day wakes up without any memories whatsoever of her life. She wakes up every morning to an unfamiliar man in her bed. His name is Ben and he always tells her that he is her husband and he has to explain that she was in a terrible accident two years ago that made her unable to form new memories. She then gets a phone call from a neurologist saying that he's been helping her for a while now try to piece together her life and he directs her towards a journal. She's been writing down the events of her life for the past few weeks without the knowledge of her husband so she goes back and she reads these entries and what she reads is very chilling and spooky. The journal makes her ask a lot of questions about her life, why she and Ben never had any children, what happened leading up to the accident, what actually occurred the day of the accident, and what happened to her best friend. It kind of reminds me of like the thriller version of Fifty First Dates which I love that movie so I'm very intrigued by this and I'm super excited to pick it up. The next book I have is called The Chalk Man and this is by CJ Tudor and this also sounds really interesting. It's about a boy named Eddie who in 1896 him and his friends have this little code where they draw little stick figure men with chalk to kind of symbolize like a meetup place or like there's bullies nearby, little messages to each other and then one day he finds one of the chalkmen pointing him towards the forest so he goes to the forest and he discovers a dead body. So now years later it's 2016 he's working as a teacher he has an alcohol problem and then he receives a letter that has one of these stick figures on it. He thinks it's part of some huge joke that people are playing on him he contacts his friends and he discovers that they all have received this same stick figure on the letter with no return address. Then one of the friends ends up dead and Eddie realizes that this is definitely not a prank and he decides that he's going to investigate further. I think it sounds really cool. I'm super excited for it and I'm going to dive into it hopefully soon. The next book I picked up was solely just because of the author. I read The Good Daughter by her and absolutely loved it and now ever since then she's like an auto by author. Have I read any of her other books? No, I just possess them all. But it is Cop Town by Karen Slaughter, and this is apparently her first standalone book so that's exciting. Um, I don't know that much about it. It says that it's an epic story of a city in the midst of systemic upheaval, a serial killer targeting cops, and a divided police force tasked with bringing a madman to justice. And you know, I'm a fan of serial killers. That sounds creepy, but I am. So I'm very excited about this. One, because Karen Slaughter, and also serial killers. And then the final book that I have is Odd Child Out by Gilly McMillan. And this one was kind of just, I needed another book for it to be free and I've recognized the author. I've seen her books around. I own a couple of them. Have I read them? No. But it does sound pretty intriguing if you ask me. It follows two best friends, Noah and Abdi, and they're very opposite from each other. And then one day Noah ends up dead and then Abdi disappears. Nobody knows why. Did he do it? Did he not do it? Who knows? There's an investigation and it's kind of the story of that. So I'm intrigued. I'm excited. I'm gonna read it. Let you guys know what I think of it in the end, but hopefully I like it. All right, guys. So that was my little thriller haul this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of them, if you loved them, if you hated them, let me know and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.